Under 10 to 13 championships here at the Sir Tom Finney Sports Centre in Preston where we're about to see the under 13 boys final between the number one seed Amr Hussain from Lancashire against the number two seed Jamie Liu from Buckinghamshire. So both boys battling their way through today in the semi-final. Emerald had the did the easy job winning 3-0 against David Gofton from Cleveland. But Jamie Liu had a much tougher battle taking on Josh Weatherby from Cleveland in what was a huge match, but it was Jamie who came out the victor winning 3-2. Both boys just making their way on the court. Well, we'll have their two minute preparation before we start the match. Jamie from Buckinghamshire plays out to the Kingfisher Table Tennis Club. Where he's worked alongside Pete Charters and Tom Maynard. But for this one, his coach will be Daniel Basterfield, who's been working with Jamie of late. And recently was his coach at the ITTF Cadet Hopes and Challenge Week in Qatar. So Jamie playing in the red and black, the near side on your screens. At the far end we have the number one seed, Amaral Hussain of Lancashire, based out of Oldham. Train across many different centres including Halton Table Tennis Club. Dominant ride here to the final. Both boys, members of the National England Youth Training Squad. So train alongside the other young players from around the country who are battling to try and be England's best and compete with the best players in Europe and the world. So I think we're in for a, a great final. Both players demonstrating their capabilities on their way at the final. Possibly a little bit tentative in the start as they deal with the nerves, but I'm sure things will open up. And we'll be in for a fantastic final with these two young players. Just adjacent to this table, we have two of the matches going on. We have Darcy Proud against Jasmine Wong. And the final of the under 13s girls. We have Amy Marriott against Sofa Chang in the under 11 girls final. And Bertie Kelly against Adam Zabo in the under 11 boys final. But it's here for the under 13s. Jamie with the serve in this first game. First blood to Jamie Liu. Good dominant forwards there by Amaral. Looking to get in quickly. And Amaral just controlling the direction quickly and try taking the ball a little earlier. Give Jamie less time. And if you start to see the tactic Amaral's trying to use, trying to get out wide to the forward as quickly as possible. That's just pushing Jamie back from the table, making things harder for him, getting more court to cover. Oh, that's good play, nice fast push right at the backhand. Jamie stepping around, opens up the table, Amaral, no problem. So both players trying to be aggressive in these first few points, let them down quite quickly. Oh, lovely counter loop. Jamie picking up the half long serve. Amaral ready for it. Nice. Early timing, quick action. Striking right over the top of the ball. Opportunity there. Had Jamie out of position. 
needs to be putting those away. But it's Amaro's leading his first game 6 3. Amaral being coached by Lin, um, a player and coach from Taiwan. He's been working with Amaral over the past few months. A bit fortunate there from Jamie. Jamie, good back and tops and clips the top of the net though. Dribbles over. Amaral struggling to control the spin on it. And now it's Jamie who's changing the, p the direction. Good back and there. And now a level six all in the under 13s girls final. It's first blood to Jasmine Wong and she takes the first game 11 6 against Darcy Proud. But it's back here for the under 13 boys. Quick, quick switch in there by Jamie. He knows Emerald's looking to get in and he's now using it against him. Jamie fighting his way back. He's trailing 5-1, now lead 7-6. Just touches. So a nice quick backhand. Took the ball incredibly early. Gave Jamie no time. You can see things just starting to speed up a little bit. Amaral when he's taking the ball early seems to have the advantage Jamie for me just getting pushed back from the table a bit too easy but it's not letting it phase him only one point in it Amaral frustrated with that last flick should be making it he knows that was an important point now level 9 all. a good attack in Wide the backhand, change direction, wide to the corner. Jamie running after the ball, but just not quick enough to get there. And it's game point to Amrul Hussain. Oh, that's a nice one, a finish. So steps around quickly. Powers the ball away and takes the first game 11-9. So both players settling in quite quickly. Both looking to be quicker. But it's Amaral who's actually taking the ball earlier and having the advantage. In the under 11 girls final between Sophie Chang and Amy Marriott, it's Sophie who takes the first game 12 10. So Jamie just needs to tr try to be aggressive, but when you're back from a table, his shot's just lacking that killer punch. Needs to try and stay up and be careful he doesn't get ca caught out wide to the forehand. But his serves are proving useful and giving an opportunity. Amrul. Needs to just reduce the unforced errors on receive. And when he takes that ball early, that's catching Jamie out. And he can ch when he changed direction, that's getting Jamie pushed away. So here we go, game two. Amrul with the serve. Again, heavy spin, then quick switch. Starting to see a pattern here from Amaral's play. And Jim needs to look for that, so it was a good flick by Amaral, just didn't have the pace. So knows that Jamie's moving away from the table on the forehand. Jamie not stepping in. Amaral just open up an initial lead. 3 1, has a serve. And again, another net there. And that's how incredibly close it is. Just a slight millimetre in difference. It can be the difference between missing the table or clipping the net. And can make all the difference. So Amaral just steadily moving away. 5 1. Important game for Jamie in the girls' final. Darcy proud, pulling one back, takes the second game 11 8 and levels that final one game all. Yeah. 
Well, it's good use of the reverse serve there by Jamie. Allowed him to get in with his backhand. And then needs to step in. Just keep moving his feet. In the under-11 boys final. It's first blood to Bertie Kelly. Against Adam Zabo as he takes the first game 12-10. And Amaral racing away with this one, leading 8 2. Again, Jamie just not necessarily off the pace, but just slightly off the table. It's giving Amaral time, allowing him to dictate what's happening. Oh, that was an opportunity. Amaral's in the driving seat, got the winning ball. Didn't quite get round enough to play that forehand. Jamie not giving this one in without a fight. Bounces on his toe, G's himself up. Good backhand, loose serve. Backhand tops him straight in. Pulls another one back. And Jamie just needs to take a few more risks now. Go to his opponent. Oh, lovely re loop. Push deep in the backhand corner. Amaral stepping round. Jamie, fantastic farm reloop, pulls another one back, and you just see Jamie just trying to step things up, creeping his way back in. Now the deficit, only one point, only trails eight seven. And that's well back. After trailing massively, Jamie's got himself right back in his second game, now level at eight all. And the unforced errors are creeping in with Amaral. Jamie stepping things up, picking up anything that's a fraction loose. Oh, well worked, he was pushed back. Saw the opening, heavy spin on the backhand, working his way back in. And now it's Jamie Liu leading 10-8. And he takes it, 11-8. And we're level at one game all. Brilliant play there by Jamie Liu. After trailing massively, he battled his way back in. And in the 13's final. Jasmine Wong now leads two games to one after taking the third game, 11-3. And in the under-11 girls final, Amy Marriott battles it back. And takes the second game, 12-10, incredibly close final. First game was to Sophie, 12-10, and now Amy returns the favour and wins the second one, 12-10. So one game all in the under-11 girls final. So back here, Jamie stepping things up there, much better. Looked dead and buried, but then stepped it up a gear. Got himself right back into it, and the unforced errors crept back in with Amaral. Amaral just needs to think about what he needs to do. Let that one go, and we'll focus on the next point. So, one game all, Jamie Liu with the serve. It's the first point of Amaral, but he's a bit fortunate. He was pushed back, but chop blocked it back. Two easy points there for Amaral. Jim needs to make sure he doesn't give anything away to his opponent. Oh, fantastic play. Jamie played a brilliant backhand from back from the table. Amaral countering that straight away. And again, Amaral will open up a lead at the beginning of the game. Leads 3-0. And the 11 boys final. Bertie Kelly opened up a two games to nil lead now, taking the second game 11 7. There we see that change of direction again. Jamie playing the ball back to the back in all time. That allows Amaral to dictate the position. 
Getting to switch in quickly. Oh, brilliant shot. Jamie opened up well. Amaral stepping right round. Fantastic forehand. Extends his lead to 5-1. Another one slips away. And in the under 13 girls final, Jasmine Wong takes the fourth game 11 2 and wins the match 3 1 and is the 2016 under 13 girls winner. Congratulations to Jasmine. Commiserations to Darcy. Fantastic final between the two girls. But it's Jasmine Wong who takes it. So back here to the boys' final. Amaral still dominant, leading 7-3. Amaral pinning Jamie on that backhand, deep pushing. Jamie trying to lift the ball. Just too much to handle on that one. Again, Amaral in the driving seat. Jamie just trying to contain the ball. Needs to remember what took it, what, what made him take it in the second game. Being aggressive. <laughs> Difficult to get going again, though. And Amaral with seven game points here in game three. Jamie bouncing his toes, trying to G himself up. Trying to show a good fight. Seen this before. Amaral just needs to keep his focus. That's two easy points there for Jamie. Creeps it back. So now only five game points. But he takes it. And the third game goes to Amaral Hussein 11 5, and he leads this under 13 boys final. Two games to one. So, Jamie, for me, holding back a little bit more there. It's not what won it for him in the second. He stepped things up, took the game to Amaral, and that's what put Amaral under pressure. And in the under-11 girls' final... Amy Marriott takes the third game, 11-7, and leads two games to one. So Amaral worked incredibly hard there, stepped things up. Pushed his opponent away again like he did in game one. And was in the driving seat from the word go. Jamie giving himself too much to do to get back into it. Jamie needs a good start this last game. Tamron with the serve has the advantage. Game four. And there, Jamie just looking to contain the ball on. Needs to look a top spin. That's his game. Oh, brilliant play by both players. It was clever for Amaral, short serve to the forehand, brings his opponent over, takes Matt White at the backhand. Pushes Jamie away. Jamie lobbing, then look, re-smashed one. Try to get himself back into it, but Amaral ready for it, drops the ball short and took the point. Amaral just starting to get a lead again. Leads 3-0, timeout called. So, momentum very much with the Number one seed, Amaral Hussein. Jamie needs to get that top spin in early. And seeing what he can do in game two when he gets that top spin in, puts his opponent under massive pressure. But at the moment, Amaral having the run. 
dominating the game, controlling the pace, controlling the direction. So coming to near to the end of the timeout. Okay, Jamie high five with Daniel Basterfield as coach. Makes his way back to the table. Needs to really do something here if he's going to have any chance. So, trails 3 0. Again, back from the table. Admiral taking the ball early. Keeping it simple. And leads 4 0. A bit of he hesitation on the backhand there. Needs to keep his focus, but he does. And in the under 11 boys final, fantastic display from Adam Zabo. He trailed 8 10, battled it back, and took the third game 14 12. And it's Bertie Kelly still with the advantage, leading 2 1. Oh, great counter hitting from both players. But Amaral, the one closest to the table, able to control it. Jamie there trying a little bit too hard. And Amaral in full control. 7 1 with the serve. And there's another one. Trying to encourage himself, get himself back into it. And Amaral only two points away from taking the 2016 boys title. Oh, good counter hitting, good spin. Jamie trying to step back in. And Amaral Hussein, who's been dominant throughout this game, now has nine championship points. But he takes him the first time. Soft top spin. Jamie misreading it. And Aaron Hussein takes the game 11 1 and wins the boys' final 3 1 and is the 2016 under 13 boys' champion. So many congratulations to Amr Hussein. Dominant display. Show why he was the number one seed. Jamie, commiserations. Pulled himself back into it in game two. Amaral very much in control in game three and four. Made it incredibly hard for Jamie to get back into it. In the other finals, we have.